Attorney Miles Mason is here to tell you if a living will is something that you should be thinking about for yourself or for others in your family. Good morning, Miles, and thank you for being here. Thank you. Now, in this Chavo case, put it into perspective. Just how would a living will have prevented this emotional battle that's going on between the parents and the husband right now? Very simply, a living will lets us know what the disabled person wants, and that's all it is. And so this is something that a person would write down, exactly spell out exactly what they would want to happen? Absolutely. In Tennessee, we have very simple forms that can be filled out. And what's beneficial about that is that with one standard form, the hospital will know what it looks like and the family can be comfortable. Now, we hear so much about living wills, but just what are we talking about in terms of cost? How much would something like this cost? Not nearly as much as people think. I mean, just to execute a living will, maybe under $100. What you're paying for with an attorney is an attorney's time and answering the questions about what the form means and how it's going to be administered. Now, are we talking about a complicated document or just how hard or easy is this? Absolutely not. It's a very, very simple form. And in fact, recently, the state of Tennessee has improved the form. And so if you do have an old living will form, you may want to check with your attorney and get the new updated form, which is easier and simpler and covers more situations. And here's a big question for attorneys. Is this something that you have to have an attorney help you with, or could a person do this on their own? No, but it makes sense to work with an attorney because the form itself, while it may be simple, what's important is how it's administered and how it's going to come about. And almost everyone that has spoken with an attorney on this topic will have some follow-up question that's going to be important to be answered correctly. And when you have a document like this, what's to say that it will stand up in court? Where's the proof there? Well, the proof is going to be in the form itself. Is, is, does the family believe it? Do the friends believe it? And does the hospital believe it? And if everything's uh, completed properly and clearly, then there's not going to be an argument. And so much you can get off the Internet now. Would online sites for living wills be a good idea? What do you have to say? Well, the, the state of Tennessee, like I said, does issue this form. But what's, again, what's important is you can go and read that, but what we recommend is that you go get your will done as long, in conjunction with getting your living will done as well. And this is something we talked about earlier. This is just one part of a comprehensive estate plan. Right? Everyone needs a will because you don't want the state of Tennessee deciding what happens to your property. You want to decide what happens to your property. And while you're doing that, execute your living will and make sure that your insurance is right as well. Oh, well, thank you very much, Miles. Some good information. We have three points we want to recap. First, most should get a living will, you'd agree? Absolutely. Living wills are considered inexpensive. What did you say for a price? Or what? Oh, it could be under $100, but the entire package of a will, maybe some trust, and to make sure that your insurance is right, your visit with your lawyer may be under $1,000. And, of course, this should be done. A living will should be uh, put together as part of an overall estate plan. Absolutely. All right. Well, thank you, Miles, for this insight today. Thank you. And we hope to hear from you a little later on this whole topic of living wills. And, of course, we'll have a lot more on the Terry Chavo case.